Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Viper Sniper here, and today's video is the DNA bomb. That's right, I finally got the DNA bomb. And I was playing some hardcore on the map Comeback. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure his map's Comeback, and using the AK 12s, you know, the normal silencer, cinemag, um, stock, you know, that setup. And it's a pretty beast gun, and hardcore is really fun, I'm not even gonna lie. So, yeah. There is no sound in this, vid uh, this video. I figured out why. I, I got a wireless headset for Christmas, and it just it doesn't work with El Ga or yeah with Elgato. So I'm probably gonna have to use this headset, and you know just use that one as a backup just in case something happens to this one, you know. But until then, I don't know. I've just I don't even know what to do. But I've been working on it a little bit trying to figure out how to do it. But this is gonna be a pretty long commentary, just because I can't let the video straight up play through, and I'm showing the whole DNA bomb. So it's it's a pretty long DNA bomb, but I I'm not, I got really nervous dude, I'm not even gonna lie, if you guys got any DNA bombs, make sure you tell me in the comments, and thank you guys, I, I noticed my, y'all really do enjoy my Advanced Warfare videos, I'm like on my AK-12 video, you're my favorite gun, you know, I got a, like, I think 7 or 8 likes, which that's freaking insane, man, so yeah, I hope you, don't, I hope you guys don't mind if it's hardcore, because hardcore is just really fun to me, I mean, it still takes 2 bullets to kill, but I really do enjoy hardcore, mainly because, if you guys do play Advanced Warfare, you know that the ASM, a yeah ASM1 is like a it's, a it's a really strong gun man and a bunch of tryhard kids use it and it's just it's 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 hard, so hard to compete with it man it's just it's the thing straight up melts and I'm not using it it's just like the bally's to be it's just a little bit too OP to be using dude <clears throat> yeah a bunch of other YouTubers have been posting crap on that about that gun and literally they're pretty good. Most of them that I watch, they're pretty good at advanced warfare. But when you use the ASM1, it it doesn't make me think you're good. You gotta use like a like a real gun, not not such a strong gun. But hardcore is just a lot easier to keep streaks going. Not because I just camp or whatever you guys want to say, but it's just it's a lot easier because people don't they don't really like want revenge is bad, and it's a lot easier just to play for in my opinion. But these kids, they weren't noobs at all. This, these was, this was a clan, man. And as you see at the end of the video, whenever I DNA bomb them, they back out right after. Because in hardcore, man, you don't see your ammo. All you see is the kill feed and the radar if you have a freaking UAV. And right there, I get the 15. I think I get all the kills in the first round, other than a uh, um, like my last two or three. This could have been a really quick DNA bomb, but see, I, I didn't want to die, man. It's, this is my second DNA bomb I got here. My first one I'm gonna post later on is a really slow one. I forgot, I forgot what it was on. I mean, it was still in hardcore, but uh, oh yeah, it was on Riot. I'm gonna post that one later on. And also, I'm gonna post the world almost 20 seconds off the world's fastest chem strike. That was freaking sick, man. I'm that's still probably one of my best gameplays. But this video right here is is pretty insane. It's a second DNA bomb. I, the first one was really bad. I mean, that was I actually did camp a little bit. Just because, you'll see later on, whenever you get shot in hardcore, you don't regen health, and it was pretty bad. So I get a 21 gun streak right there, excuse me for that. You get a 21 gun streak right there, and <clears throat> I wasn't, I, I didn't want to die, dude. I mean, I, I, I didn't know what's going on. I mean, I was playing with clans, I get a nice gun streak going on, man. I have to DNA bomb these kids. So yeah, man, if you guys haven't picked up a DNA bomb yet, make sure that you check out some other YouTubers. Like, I recommend Green Goblin HD. I use his tips a lot trying to get these DNAs. It does make them a little bit easier, but DNA bombs are still insanely hard. I mean, I didn't start picking up chem strikes till like the game was like almost over. I mean, because this crap, it, it gets really hard, man. And then skill-based matchmaking in this game makes it a lot harder. But you, you just gotta play it safe, man. Like, I won't, I wouldn't, you know, just be jumping around just total stupidness, man. But you gotta play it safe. And also, I, I wish the audio would have recorded, but you can't hear the sound of the DNA bomb or anything. If you guys haven't watched a YouTube video on it, you need to go check it out. Because it's really nice. And I get the 25. You know, guys, I was playing it safe. Oh, oh, it's a lot quicker. I thought it was an 8 minute DNA bomb, but it's a little bit quicker than that. See right here? I get low on ammo. Nah, son, you know I'm not gonna move. I'm like 4 off the DNA bomb right now. I'm not moving, son. I'm not moving. So I have gotten, um, like over 50 something. Relentless is, I think, like whatever a 15 gun streak is. I got over 50 of those, and I've only picked up uh, three vicious medals, two DNA bombs, and I got my first vicious medal a long time ago when the game first came out. So, man, I'd recommend going for a vicious medal first, just so you know how to play it safe. 
But I heard this one YouTuber say, man, the first 15, like what I do here is, I could have been a really quick DNA bomb, but I started to camp it out. I mean, I had to, I mean, I, you should have camped it out with all the, you know, I didn't have any ammo left because you can't see it in hardcore, so I mean. But he said, like, the first 15 kills, if you got the first 15 kills, you know, you can get the last 15 the same way you got it, just, you know, but not my luck. My luck, man, I, I'll be killed some stupid way, dude, but. So yeah, the, um, this DNA bomb, right now as I'm looking at it, it's probably just under, or over, like, right over six minutes. Which really isn't that fast, but it's also not really that slow because I didn't just sit in a corner the whole time. But I did stay over here and the enemy spawned the first round, but my team spawned over here, so I just decided, you know, just pick the last four people off for the DNA bomb. And I was really excited. You'll see my mic thing come up, dude. Right now, I'm quiet, dude. I'm 100% focused. Literally, I'm just sitting here focused, man. Whenever I, whenever I get that DNA bomb, boy, I start yelling, man. And watch the kill feed, man. That's a bunch of clan members. Before, um, before the game started, one of these clan members was really cocky. I mean, he was cocky, saying, "Oh, he got his friend on his team, man. We can get beaten, something, man." Nah, they all rage quit right after I called the DNA bomb in, because you can't, you know, you, you can't even see it coming in, which sucks. But hardcore, I actually really enjoy this, man. You guys need to try it. I keep on saying it in every video, but you need to try hardcore, dude. <clears throat> so I think I almost died on the last kill. I'm pretty sure it was getting, it was getting really close. I think a kid runs up on me with a shotgun, and I kill him, and he spawns close to me and kills me right after I pick up the DNA bomb. So I didn't get any of those nice, what's it called, unstoppable medals, you know what I'm saying? I have two of them for my vicious medal, but I didn't get to pick up any of those. And see, so I'm starting to sit in the corner, because I think I'm two or three off. One, two, or three. I'm, no, I'm pretty sure I'm two off right now. And, yeah, I got my AK-12 and all that stuff, diamond today, my bow, all that stuff. So I'm going for a um, royalty assault rifles. So I can't wait, you know, get a DNA with that, with that stuff, but I, I don't even know what to say, dude. DNA bombs are mainly about luck. If you guys haven't picked one up yet, I'd, I, I don't even know, dude. I, I don't even, I, there's one secret, but I don't, you know, want to just say it, make me sound like I'm a noob, but if you do play with some lower rank or, you know, not some good as people, they will match you up with a bunch of noobs, which I have figured that out. Because most of my friends, they're pretty good at Call of Duty, but see, there's the DNA bomb right there. But see, if you play with lower rank friends and stuff, it will it'll match you up with noobs, which I, which is really sick. And there's a shotgun kid. Oh, no, 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 it wasn't a shotgun. I always think he's using an ARX. So, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video and this long commentary. There's a beautiful DNA bomb. Drop a like for that. Look, look at the look at the kill feed. See all the clans, man? Drop a like for that DNA bomb. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace out.